All right, have you ever received a wrong number text message? I hate that. You likely either ignored it or replied to tell the person they had the wrong number, but a wrong number text message scam is shedding new light on the risk of responding. CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts explains. I got this flirty text message this morning with the photo of a redheaded girl saying she wanted to catch up. I knew it was a scam, so I didn't respond, but I did download the photo, hoping to track her down and warn her that someone was using her photo. Well, that's when we realized we should probably share this information with you too. Wrong number text scams are nothing new. A seemingly innocent message from an unknown number, often from your area code. But when they come with a flirty tone in a photo, you can almost always guarantee it's a scam. So I downloaded this photo and uploaded it to the Google reverse image search in hopes of finding and warning this girl that her image was being used. But it was immediately clear I wasn't alone. Social media concerned about a text that people across the valley and in other states as well have been receiving. From New York to Texas, this text scam appears to have been rampant in other parts of the country and has now moved out west. Does this text look familiar? In it some states, the texts text appear to be targeting women, leading to viral social media posts linking the scam to sex trafficking and even claiming that by simply replying to the text, the scammer can see your location. Highly doubtful. It's not something that I would be particularly worried about. Security expert Doug Levin warns, while seeing your location may not be a concern, you shouldn't reply. First off, it verifies that your number is valid, so the scammer can then use your number to scam others. You're also sending a signal that you might be susceptible to receiving more scams and maybe falling for one, so you don't want to put a target on your back by responding. And certainly don't click on any links in the text. They could potentially give the hacker access to your contacts, location, and more. In some cases, people who responded to this text were sent unsolicited X-rated photos. Instead of responding, you should report the suspected text scams to the Federal Trade Commission by forwarding the message to the number 7726, which spells out S-P-A-M, or spam. After that, you can block the number, and then you can delete that message chain, right? Just wipe it from your phone. Now, those online sex trafficking rumors have been debunked by law enforcement across the country, and it does appear that the girl in this photo is now aware her photo is being used.